Let's go to Griff Jenkins in D.C. Hey, Griff, <laughs> uh, what's the latest on the recounts down in Georgia? Because I understand they could be up to the fifth one? Yeah, that's right. The president, good morning, Steve Ainsley and Brian. The president's demanding his fifth audit of ballot signatures because he maintains he won the Peach State. And he's promising lawsuits, possibly as soon as today. He called in to Arizona yesterday saying one would be coming in Georgia. We'll see where that goes. But he's also ratcheting up this feud with the Republican governor, tweeting this. Why won't Governor Brian Kemp, the hapless governor of Georgia, use his emergency powers, which can be easily done to overrule his obstinate Secretary of State and do a match of signatures on envelopes. It will be a gold mine of fraud and we will easily win the state. The tweet was flagged by Twitter and Governor Kemp rejected the president's call saying uh, Georgia law prohibits the governor from interfering in elections. Now this as Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, also a Republican, yesterday announced an investigation into more than 250 claims of voter fraud, though he was doubtful it could change the outcome of the election. And as more than 940,000 absentee ballots have already been requested in the Senate runoffs, Raffensperger launched an investigation into four outside groups groups allegedly seeking to influence the vote. These third party groups have a responsibility to not encourage illegal voting. If they do so, they will be held responsible. Among Raffensperger's accusations, registering a dead woman in Alabama, sending registration forms out of state, and encouraging college students to temporarily change their residency. The groups deny any wrongdoing and casting an illegal vote in Georgia is a felony. Meanwhile, Vice President Pence heads down to Georgia on Friday ahead of the president's visit on Saturday, and a lot of Republicans in the state guys are worried the attacks on the governor and secretary of state could suppress voter turnout and cost Republicans control of the Senate. We'll see what happens. Brian Ainsley, Steve. Yeah, the governor might not show up at the airport to greet the president. Just saying. Mm -hmm.